Ah, this feels like this is... Could be an ACL, could be a... What's this thing back here, your Achilles? You tie your shoes tight for this? Yeah, I had to. I don't, these aren't even gym shoes. They look like gym shoes. They're Air Force Ones, they're not gym shoes. So you're automatically in an advantage, but it's not I like wouldn't that. do that with these either. If I could clear I, this I crack, it. I'll be oh, happy. That crack, oh, that, that crack we can do for sure. That won't even get... A little bit of burn practice. from the practice one. You're right, that did kind of hurt a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it hurt. We're all so out of shape, we're like breathing hard but from I, a jump. <laughs> <laughs> that's the record? Like, what did you say it was? 12-3? 12 12-3. Well, that's got to be like DK Metcalf. Number one. Number one worst to third being least worst. Um, the horny police. Number two. <laughs> Number two would be um, Smitty. Five. Reason? I don't need to give a reason. So and Carl's out of the top three? Well, I haven't seen Carl in like three weeks. And we haven't so. got to number three yet. Number three, I would like to go with people that don't move out of their parents' basement and talk about high school a lot. So Carl, you're out of your mom's basement, but you talk about high school a lot. <laughs> Can I just put Carl to make it the wording better? No, that's not what I said. So if you're back, closer, you're back, you're back. I can easily clear. So we're doing the broad jump today. Uh, Handsome Hank sent out an email saying they're doing a bunch of Olympic style testing, combine type numbers, shit, blah, blah, blah. We have merch, USA merch in the store for the Olympics. That was kind of one of the other things with this. We don't have any of that here, but it looks sweet. And so I replied to Hank, said, hey, like we're in, we'll film it here if you want. Uh, Hank ignored the email. So we're just gonna do it on our own anyways, and maybe they'll use it, maybe we won't. But Dave, I mean, I feel like you and I have like an ongoing. Yeah, for real. I mean, I'm easily the best athlete of the two of us, but um, this'll prove once and for all who can jump farther. All right. How does that work? So he's sure, what is that? So that's 70, 70 about six and a half feet. Fuck, now the field it looks like it's so much further than it did before. Do you guys fuck with it when I was in the bathroom? No, no. Wow, there's, it's, I don't it's know. Not. Juice is already crazy. Ooh, he got me by like four inches, five inches. This one. 89, 90 inches, yeah. so what is that? Seven and a half feet? All right, all right, all right. All right. I might beat Tom Brady in this. <laughs> shorter, shorter. That one's even worse. You want another one? No, I don't want another Dave's. one. I'm done. I retired from broad jump. <laughs> Dave's gas. <gasped. laughs> it's my arms that are hurting now. It's not like, <laughs> like the shock absorbing, not good on this concrete. Yeah, the shock is a problem. Hop Ops Tournament 2021. Rag tag, tag group of people coming out. I know Mario, I know nobody else. I think we're gonna win the whole tournament. You should have seen us take and BP. It was like Barry Bonds into the into the Cove in San Francisco. What's the lineup, Dave? I don't even know any of their names, so I'm having- Are a you? I got a group chat with all these guys. I didn't save one number. That guy, who wishes he was at a Motley Crue concert right now. Right now the best bat, baseball, softball bat on planet Earth. It's like a trampoline in this barrel. Is that street legal? Probably not. Everybody was giving me shit for golf swing last week. I did that for baseball too. Bad. Drive off that inside heel all up through your thighs and hips and everything. Watch out, kids. Go, 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 go. Get dirty, get dirty, get dirty! White Sox Dave just came up, first swing of the day, pieced it, left center field, that's what I'm talking about. I'm out of shape, that's how we're feeling. Thank God for the great KC in West Philly, Miller Lake. Ah, Cut that off, that's a good play right there. That's, he's out! He's out! Wash him in. Come on. Even if we got a big play. No. Dude, how are you? How can you see both? Oh, I saw both. How can you see both? He was wasted. He said safe. He said safe. Yeah, hey, that's impossible. Jimmy, come on. He was safe right there. He was on the fence. Jimmy, he was on the fence. 
Action, mid-game update, bottom three, Barstool Chicago. I think it's a 3-1 against Sport Nation. But we got trouble in the gap here, guys. We got trouble in the gap. It's a big, oh, it's over the fence! It's over the fence! It's over the fence! It just hit the fucking cooler! How about the throwback, though? Pretty good throwback. You saw that one. Clear the fence, over the fence. What a mid game update. Mid game updates have been electric the last couple weeks. Shout out College World Series. Shout out Ben Mitch. Shout out Jack Leiter. What an atmosphere. Coach in third base. Watch a man work here. It's going to be trouble. It's going to be trouble. Hospitality. It's a tough son. It's a tough son. I told you guys. Watch me work. The second I go to work, first of Chicago starts scoring runs. Here's White Sox Dave. Oh, Mac, let's go, let's go, let's go. Magic, 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 magic. You're up easy, up easy, up easy. Take it. Four, 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 four. Final score, six to three. Hey, put the headset on. You got to talk to Gino. Doing a little post game, I feel like I'm in the in the show right now. We beat ourselves today. Um, six three. I mean, they just beat us. Papa Ops tournament, Barstool Chicago loses in the first round. What a valiant effort, nonetheless, led by our fearless leader, White Sox Dave. We want to thank all these Southside animals for competing with us this year. We'll be back strong next year. We will be back. We'll have a ringer Yo, team next up? year that's going to take down Yahtzee or whoever they are. And I want you to make a promise to the audience that you're going to be a bigger 16 in softball. Right? I, that is, is a promise team. from me to you, the audience. Chris Bryant never went to Omaha. He never wore the orange and blue. I'm not calling him a me first guy. I'm just saying when we get out there and we compete, I wouldn't do this if I was him. Because I got nothing to lose in a fucking fresh arm. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh! All right, rapid fire. All right. Chris, I'm Chris. Seven, eight! Yeah! Just went like two for 20 on those throws. I'm gonna dust his ass. Respectfully. You know what I blame that on? The stupid mic pack thing. <laughs> He's already making excuses, too. Let me show you. I got it. Secret weapon. Rizzle ball, childhood glove. A lot of throwing's good footwork. Just watch the feet here. Do you see the feet? Those are quick feet, can't even time those feet. KB's wearing a jersey with his name on the back. You see a name on the back of this jersey? It's about the fucking name on the front, boys. Why would you do that? Because we can't even talk about it. I know we can't. <laughs> uh, if you're hitting a home run, I think we're going to score 10 runs. There's just something about it that gets everybody going. That's funny. And you don't hit a lot. Feel that. Yeah, but you don't hit them when we're like down by three and like, or down by five yeah, or six. It's always or like a three to two game, I feel like, with a homer. <laughs> the first like time that. we met, the first time we met, I, tell, I was telling them about how you hit the game winner. I, against the Rockies yeah. in 2015. Yeah, the walk-off, I remember. 2015, you we were jogging that. around the bases, and my wife, now that at the time, girlfriend, was like, who is he? And I was like, don't worry about him. <laughs> Just hit a game winner walk-off. <laughs> that was when I could barely have to grow a beard. <laughs> yeah. Hunter, we play way too, ma too many games. All right, so I way too many games. I hate to tell you this, but coming out of the College World Series, I was just like, dude, if we could just figure out a way where they played like 80 games and every a single one of them counted, <laughs> yeah, no, no player. But it's still, I mean, I have so many times I'm like, what are we doing? We were playing so many games, right? But I like, I like the, I like the runner on second. I'm no bit hardcore baseball fans, don't the runner on second extra innings. I love that. It makes the games go way quicker, and it's like, if you want to win, you're going to focus, you're going to put, you know, you're going to do what you need to do. you got to lock it in. But, like, when you're, when you're past the 10th inning in a normal extra inning game, you're like, I just want to go home. Yeah. we have been here for four hours. Like, right. this is stupid. Yeah. Like, but then you hear all, like, the guys who retired, they're just like, this is, I can't watch baseball anymore. Oh, yeah. I'm like, get out of here. When you, if you were playing and you were playing in the 17 inning game, right. you would you would have liked, liked it. Right. No, you know who you look like? Do you remember uh, Jared Hughes? 
Yeah. Do I remember Jared Hughes? Are you kidding me? Of course <laughs> I remember You look just Jared like him. Hughes. All right. Did you run into the mound like him too? No, I didn't. <laughs> We're going? Yeah. All right, we're in the interview portion of today's show. We are joined by, can we, friend of the program? Yeah. Yes, all right. Definitely Let's, a friend of you. Appreciate it. Uh, Chris <laughs> Bryant, um, Chris Bryant, thanks so much for jumping on with you us. Good it. luck the rest of the season. Bottom of my heart, we love you in Chicago. Thank you for everything you do for the Cubs, for the city, and I hope we get to watch you play the rest of your years here. You're the man, I appreciate that. Awesome. That was there you go. great, man. Thanks. You got it. Thanks. Thanks. I try not to ask anything too mean or hard. No, 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 you're good. Um, I like, oh, we got to open this. I like the cup, the cup, the cup. <laughs> you got me with the cup thing. Right. I got a hobby. I got a hobby. Oh! Who's that? The filthiest, the absolute filthiest baseball player right now. Shohei? Sorry. Oh, good call. <laughs> National League pitcher. DeGrom. The best pitcher in the National you know, he's League. A, he's a really good dude, too. Is he? Really good dude. Does he? People forget he was a shortstop at Stetson, and they like converted him into a pitcher. Dude, really? Yeah, he was a tenth. Well, that's why he rakes too. Yeah, he does rake. Jeez, you were. Dude, this this guy's gonna be nat. This guy. <sighs> All right, which one? Q Brian Hayes. That's Come a, on, really? He's a good player. You I have, we watch him play at third. Yeah, he's a. I, he plays for the Pirates, dude. But he didn't get enough attention. He's really good. That's because people like disrespect the Pirates at just like an unfair, like un, unreal yeah. level. Now this is a guy who probably gets a lot of Spencer Spencer Torkelson. That's a good card. I have. That is a good. <laughs> That's card. a good card. He's a rookie, right? Yeah. Dude, you gotta put that one off to the side. Uh, well, I mean, right, sleeve that right. one up. Bro, no. nobody in this one. Bro. No. Um, can we get a pick? Yes. All right. So this is the Chris Bryant challenge. Um, Brought to you by Red Bull in, in a non-disclosed Chicago indoor location. I'm going to work on my ground balls here, and then I've got to pick up different targets. You guys saw Chris do it. I wasn't impressed with him, so they wanted me to do it to see if Red Bull could get some better footage of a real athlete. What's the, ta what's the challenge? What do I have to do? Challenge is to hit five white targets in two minutes. Five white targets in two minutes. AB did it in a minute 15. Everybody knows me as a blogger, podcaster, loudmouth, crazy person. I'm a baseball player first. I'm a fucking golden arm first. Let's go. All right, you ready? I'm ready. One. That's two. Oh, no. That was under. <laughs> that was under. Three. That's a throwing error. Backhand. Okay, we got man 15 to get two. Ricochet. Charge. 55 seconds. Four. Give me five. Ah! Oh. Oh. I'm sucking eggs. It's infield challenge, did I get it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sucking eggs. This is Chad, the fungal guy. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Zero fielding errors. Mostly throwing errors. None. Start strong, finish strong. I'm looking for you, Chris. I mean, all right, my heart rates, I'm in the orange zone. Heart rate's elevated. It's probably 100 over 60, and that's not even how you measure that stuff, which gives you an indication of where I'm at. Is oxygen levels to the brain. I think clearly I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. My arm, my arm is good. You're kidding me. Are you kidding? You looked like you were just in a steam room. <laughs> it's three minutes of aggressive. <laughs> You're dripping. Bro, is there real? Water on your face? Bro, just compete against Chris Bryant. Nah. Chris Bryant's off the hook. He didn't let me do the hitting challenge. You guys saw who has the stronger arm, though. You guys know who has more fluid actions, Chad. Don't lie. This is Barstool Sports. This is Barstool Chicago. I'm Carl. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Bull Obstacle Course Challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed our time with Chris Bryant. I did. I love you. We'll see you soon. All right, here's the deal. I'm in Boston right now. I, my point that I do at the beginning, it looks weird because I got the tattoo. Um, so I'm in Boston, beautiful Medford. They call it Mefford here, I guess. They can't say these, um, but whatever. That's besides the point. Uh, I'm in Mefford, Boston. Uh, today I'm going around doing cookie reviews with Mr. Portnoy. I'm going to be an intern. He was looking for an intern, so I stepped up for the job. So I'm going to be going around doing cookie reviews and helping him out filming. And uh, yeah, needless to say, it's always interesting with him. So 
Let's get the show on the road. So what made you want to start doing the cookie reviews? Because what he did, I didn't agree with it. <laughs> no? It's just way off, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, so you got a whole list here, huh? Yeah, that's what, because uh, I'm going to put this together. Oh, she's got her own notepad, huh? Oh, yeah. So yeah. that's where Dave, he ran for mayor. That's where he was? Oh, yeah, yeah. And what did you think about when he ran for mayor? I'll tell you what, I think he'd do a lot better if he was running today than he did then. Yeah. Because right now, there's going to be an election coming up and you don't have an incumbent mayor. I, I forget what happened. He didn't He didn't qualify for something. Yeah, the signatures, they, didn't, they weren't. Was it the signatures? Yeah. <laughs> but I think he would do a lot better now. So who was burning your mail? The post office. <laughs> And what? Who else were there? What, you think somebody was after me to burn my mail? No. I've told the story a hundred times. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard it, I swear. I was getting the mail down the bottom of the mail. It was singed. It was It was clearly, it, looks like, it looked like somebody took a match to the bottom. You know, the, in that sense, I mean that the whole envelope wasn't burnt. But down the very bottom, it looked the same every single time. So finally, I went into the post office. I'll never forget this. I went into the post office, I don't remember how long this was going on for, and I said, and it's a small post office, very small, guy behind the counter, I said, uh, my mail is burned. You know what he said to me? What did he say? What do you expect me to do about it? And then, listen to this, there was another customer right with me, and uh, the customer says, in front of me and the, and the guy from the post office, I'm having the same problem. <laughs> the guy says it. And then I think, boy, we're going we're to get something. Somebody, you know what the next breath of the guy You know what the guy said? What are you going to do? <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> like I was a total idiot for complaining about this. <laughs> I remember that like it happened yesterday. You like the roundabouts or no? What do you mean by that? These are roundabouts. Yeah. We call them rotaries. Yeah, but oh, you do? You want to follow him? Huh? You want to follow me, sir? I don't know. He just put the camera down. I don't. Mean, I think he's working. You like talking to the news, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why is that? Well, I, near, near where we live, there was. Uh, I live right near the, uh, the governor, where the governor lives, and uh, I don't know. It was some kind of a demonstration a couple of years ago, and I got I got in the middle of it. They were asking my opinion. I don't even know what it was what it was about, but I gave that doesn't stop me. I gave him an opinion. All right, let's see if we could find a mic. Action! Amazing food festival Sunday here, Taste of Lincoln. I'm gonna take you guys around, show you a couple two tree things about how to do a good summer food festival in Chicago. I'm a little out of breath. Just walked down here from Roscoe Village, but like I said, this is what it's all about. Taste the Lincoln, let's go check it out. Okay, lesson one about food festivals. When you come in here, they're gonna say suggest a donation. That doesn't mean you have to give it. What it means if you don't give it, you're a piece of shit. So lesson one, just pay the suggested donation. Don't go into a food festival with bad karma, am I right? Okay, let's go. We have chicken, we have lamb, and we have steak. And my friends, when I tell you they make you feel great, I'm not lying. Come check them out today. Don't commit too hard to one place. You want to hear, you want to sample, you want to taste, you want to be bopping around. This is Tandoor. 2019 Best Taco Lakeview Taco Fest. Oh my God. Get that chicken tikka, I dare you. I won't tell you what this is, but it's a lemon tea seltzer. And it is utterly delicious and refreshing. Do you see the shirt flopping too? You see the flop on the shirt? That's called a cool summer breeze, my friends. Check, check, check. Ooh. Check, 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 check. it. Next lesson. One, two. Get two, familiar two. with the main stage, one, two, the musical two, two, act. Even check. if you're in a sound check, you want to know your territory. When Sorry, can I come up? And what type check. of music one, are we two, working with? Two. Look at the size of this fucking bass. I mean, of course it's, it's a great life. band, a full check. piece. Step by, keep yourself busy. I mean, what do you want me to say? I'm honestly, brother, I used kids outside of Chicago, Oakland. I'm fucking, of course, they know how to throw bags. Nine points there, pick up a niner. Let's go. Oh, free is a free sample. No, it's free. Oh, okay. Sample.
Win it! What do I win? I'm taking the bag. Taking the function bag. over form, guys. If you know me, it's about function over form. A lot of things you can do with this bag. Swing it over the shoulder. And I got a feeling I'm going to be walking out of here with a couple things inside this baby. Let's go fill it up. It's incredible. I bet a bad boy. I didn't know I didn't know about El Campion, 35th and Cicero, Pina Colada, Acapulco style. Look at the size of the sausage. Bursting at the seams, literally. You made some purchases, you played some games, you get some free samples. Obviously you gotta sit down with the funnel cake, the polish, the pina colada. This is taste of Lincoln. Halstead to Sheffield on Lincoln, Fullerton to Wrightwood. If that helps you guys. And now it's time to sit down, shut up, have a big bite of sausage. I've never been dominated by a sausage as much as a Polish. You can't throw. I mean, this guy, he just has zero athletic ability. It's going to be a great uh, school scene with all my sports highlights. I just said, uh, I, I think have, Patrick Wisdom's here. I think Patrick Wisdom's here. Can we help you? Yeah, I'm Patrick. Yeah, I'm just joking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How are you? Ryan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. Boys are waiting for you in here. All right. How you doing, Patrick? Carl, nice to meet Carl, you. Carl, pleasure. Can I get you a water? Yeah, I'll take one. Okay. That's Dave. He turned out a 97 uh, mile per hour right. fastball yesterday. Did you really? Yeah, okay, I did. Right. It's all on video. You don't believe him? No. I don't think this guy's too good looking <laughs> to be in our office. It's a little intimidating. Fuck it. He's always intimidated by good looking dudes. Do you much. get this? I thought you would have been bigger. I'm not even joking. I thought you would have been fucking. When I see you in left field or third base, I'm like, that motherfucker's big. But then I'm like, this is a regular job. If you were walking down the street, I would have been like, okay, this guy was like a, you know, this guy's like a frat boy at Wisconsin or something. Frat boy. Yeah. He's handsome. He's here for the internship. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like, you want to. The office opened maybe a couple weeks ago. And so now we're starting to get to the point where it's like, hey, come on in. Like, okay. check us out. See what so what were you guys doing before? Before we were in an office half the size of this with like six guys. Actually, like, show them the video. Rough. I'm going to try and tell you. What are these guys doing? Yeah, it's He's speechless. What are you doing? <laughs> but you are a golfer. Yeah, I like to golf. Okay. Yeah. I played golf with some pretty cool people. Oh, that's like an immediate flex. I know. I mean, well, I feel like talking? I'm on bar, so I gotta do a little yeah. bit of a yeah, play. Yeah, you got to. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to put these on now? Yeah. We'll do a little check, 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 check. Ready, Dave? I'm ready. Let's rock.